what's up to you my name is big tiny t-shirt and today i got a, just kidding guys what's up youtube my name is adam and today i just want to show my support um because you guys have been showing lots of love and giving me lots of feedback and you know just downloading my products and um i just it just means the world to me that i can like help um impact lots of editors and, and video creators and filmmakers and and um it just it's so amazing the, the feedback I've been getting from you guys. And shout out to these people who left some really nice comments. It means the world to me. And um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, you guys asked for a simple simple tutorial, simple preset. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys something simpler than my last ones. And it's going to be a speed ramp tutorial. And so before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm a little sick. So I was supposed to do this video a couple days ago. But um, your boy got sick and you know, but I'm feeling, a lot, feeling a lot better. So before we start the video, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and get started. Yo. So here we are on Premiere Pro and I hope by the video in the beginning of this video that you guys can see what the speed ramp looks like. So I have my clips here. I'm using fitness clips and you guys can use whatever kind of clips you want. But just make sure um, whatever the whatever kind of video that you're doing that the motions of each clip kind of like match each other if that makes sense so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I mean so in this clip I have my subject doing barbell rows so the motion is kind of like upward okay and then in the next clip he's also doing barbell rows but it's a different it's obviously a different angle but the motion is still the same so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a starting point so I kind of like it right here and I assume that you'd be editing this to music, so obviously you want to get it on like the beat or um, wherever you want the, the transition to start. But since I'm just doing a tutorial video, I don't have any music. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our starting point, which is about right here. And then we're going to go to our end point, which I say is about right here. So we're going to make a cut here. Go back to our starting point about let's say right here I can cut there and then from our starting point we're gonna go 10 frames in so we're gonna hold shift hold the arrow key twice one two and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our retiming tool which is right here or if you have a shortcut you can just go to your shortcut so we're gonna go to the end of the clip and drag it down so what the retiming tool is gonna do is all it's gonna do is speed up our clip from where from where uh, from the end point to the starting point so what this does is that it's slowed down and then it he drags it down real fast at the end okay so then we're gonna delete this clip go to our next clip and find a starting point here but we want to make sure it matches the ending point of our last video so let's go ahead and check that again so he's so he's um, bringing the barbell down to the floor and so what we probably want to do for this next clip is, is get a clip of when he's bringing it back up. So that could work, but I'm not feeling that one. So I like this one a lot better. So we're gonna start here. So he's dragging it down. So this is gonna be our, so we're gonna cut here, delete this so we don't need that. And then while he's bringing it up, he gets about right here. So then we're gonna cut that. So what we're gonna do this time is just we're gonna hold shift, go 10 frames back, one, two. Get our retime tool bring that forward so it should look like this Boom. So let's go ahead and bring those two clips together and so the speed ramp transition should look just like this so that's what it should look like it looks fluid but one thing that makes it even more fluid is that I made these motion blur presets that I'm going to have available for download Merchant Blur Pack, and I'm gonna have two of them: is front to back and back to front, or left to right and right to left. So let's go ahead and take a look at these clips. So this one's not really moving too much, but it's pretty much in front of him. So we're gonna go ahead and put the front to back on it. You can see how it just blurs the clip, and here's the direction, and you can adjust these to how you want it. But I think I have these as perfect as I can get them. And then this one's pretty much left to right. As you can see, the camera moves left to right. So we're going ahead and put it left to right on this one, and then we can check it out. So here's what it looks like. 
So that's what the motion, so that's what the speed ramp transition looks like. And even if you want, you can make this even shorter because 10 frames might seem a little too long for some of you guys. So let's go five frames, grab the retime tool, bring it in, go to this clip, go to the end, five frames, grab the retime tool, bring it in. So that's what it looks like. I like that a lot better. So the, the transition is 10 frames total, but each clip is five frames. So that's the speed ramp transition. Really simple, really easy. All you guys need is some clips that are about 60 frames to 120 frames. Um, 60 frames at the least. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. This I know this video is a little bit different because I usually give away cool presets, but this is more of a tutorial. But that's okay. You know, I like to switch it up for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below what else you want to see. Shout out to the people who left some really nice comments. If you want to get your comment in this video, just leave some more nice comments on this video and I'll be sure to give you a little shout out. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.